Katie's move back to college. Making decisions, okay? I always Please do. Please drive careful, I love you. Front left tire popped. Dad just went to buy Cracker Jacks. We already had peanuts for the seventh inning stretch. <gasps> looky, looky, looky. Wow. Oh, wow. Good job, Mom. Be back at you, babe. Good morning, everybody. This is the beginning of Katie's move back to college. Her Jeep is getting ready to be packed. This is perfect. Put stuff in here. I'm the packer. I'm the one that does all the packing in the cars. So we'll go ahead and put that all the stuff in. And we are going to drive today to Tallahassee. Katie and I and move her in. You'll be back. I'll send you pictures and videos, okay? Don't forget me when I'm gone, Alice, okay? I'm gonna be gone for longer this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's winking at you. And Eddie's waiting for his rubs, too. Oh, look. Oh. Yeah. Sleep in my bed for me, okay, Eddie? He will. He'll sleep right on your little quilt. Oh. He's like, Kitty, don't leave. I know. Alice is too. Alice is like, I'm just gonna go to sleep and maybe it'll all go away. She doesn't even know much. Yeah, she really does. But I'm. Okay. You gonna say goodbye yeah. to Brennan? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Making decisions, okay? I always Please do. Please drive careful, I love you. I love you. I'll see you like next week, probably. <laughs> She'll right. be back. Right. <laughs> I'll be back. Wait, Onward. we just. We just determined that Katie's gonna see Brendan in a couple days, so she doesn't need to say goodbye. And he's sleeping, so I don't wake him up. Okay. All right. All so, right. you guys, take your time, drive safely, okay? Okay, we will, Mikey. You drive it, Mom. Hold on, I have water, well, you want to toast, and a purse to get, so I might not be okay. Um, thank you for asking. I'm good. Well, you're good. Don't drop your toes, they'll be really sad. I was a waitress for a long time. I might go waitress again. I loved it. What? I loved waitressing. Where did you reach us? I don't know. Someplace fun. On 737 at 27. Oh, that'd be cool. Mom! Yeah. All right, we got to go. Awesome. I have this pillow. Oh, okay. Um, I got this pillow from Aunt Michelle when I got my car in North Carolina last year. And um, I have not taken, taken the pillow out or changed the pillow the entire time or washed it. Ooh. So it's disgusting right. because I like sweat all over it. And like maybe ripped a couple, but oh gosh, Whoa. Maybe the pillow is breaking now. So. Ooh, there is said pillow. Ooh, it is breaking. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's gonna make me sit on it too. <laughs> Yakarama. You know I sound like uh, Marlon. I sound like Marlon. Ooh, you sound like Marlon. <laughs> you do sound like Marlon. It's because I love you guys. I don't want anything I to happen to you. Well, I don't want anything to happen to you. It's not that I don't want anything to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> huh? Mm? Very huh? good. Thank you. Because then nothing, then nothing would happen. Then nothing would happen. <laughs> <laughs> you got the keys? Oh yeah, I put them in the side. You guys sure you're gonna make it? I don't know. Nope. Probably not. <laughs> I was looking for my phone. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a picture of Katie outside. Okay, guys. Mom, you have to make sure that the car's in drive. Hey, smile. Uh, here, let me take a quick picture, okay? You guys be safe. Thank you. Great we'll time. let you know how we're doing. Please be, uh, take your time. You look. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye. Love you. Good decisions, Kate. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, we run into a 
little bit of an issue. We've been traveling for about an hour and a half, making good time, going along. And pretty smoothly. Pretty smoothly. Katie was sleeping. All things were going well until all of a sudden my front left, Katie's front left tire popped. And not like, not like, oh, it's flat popped. No. Like no. it literally. Can you, can you see, see that? that? I mean, like, it's, it, it that's, like a, that's where we are right now. And look how thick the tread is. Okay, I mean, so we're on the highway right now. There are cars coming at us. So we pulled way, way over. We have our um, hazards on. But uh, this is not necessarily a great situation um, at all. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere, too. And it's the, the tire has thick, thick tread. I mean, it's a new tire. There's no reason. All right, so, so now we are... On the side of the road, well, I'm trying to get in touch with my insurance agent because I believe our insurance has roadside assistance. Um, but I call well, like all of our stuff is in the car. Right. Well, hopefully they'll come you, put a new tire. How don't know could what that, that have happened? I have a no new tire. Idea. I don't know. I don't know. Because the only tires right, that match true. my tires, I have a spare. Yeah. But like, but okay. I don't know if the rim's okay because right. the tire popped and then we were on the rim. Right. To get so I'm not exactly sure what to do. So, um, and my moving time is three o'clock. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make that now. We were making great time. We were we were gonna be totally early for that. So that's a good point. I just hope that there's not a lot of repair that needs to be done. So, okay, we're not gonna vlog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the vlog for right now. Not the whole vlog, but and vlogging the second so we can try to get in touch with roadside assistance. So stay tuned to find out what happens. I, I'll film this for you when it's safe, okay? When it's safe. All right, so here we are. I'm not gonna take two, oh my gosh, look at that. There's our regular tire. There's our pop tire. I mean, it is done. It is blown. Thank goodness we were on the, in the right lane when that happened because that would have been quite dangerous if we were. and our roadside assistance was going to request a tow truck that wasn't going to be here for 90 minutes to 120 minutes. So an hour and a half to two hours. So we're like, oh my gosh, right when we got that text, I turn around and here comes this tow truck. This is the Mar or, I'm sorry, the Florida Department of Transportation. Oh, it's fixing it. Just came out, they're going to change our tire for us. How great is that? Like literally we waited maybe 10 minutes and he showed up. So um, we canceled the other request from our insurance company. So hopefully, look at I feel so much safer too. He's got the cones, he's got the arrow, I think. He does the fancy arrow. All right, you guys, this is insane. Look at what the tire looks like. Look at you put it back on for us. Holy cow. That is crazy. Have a spare. No joke. Good job, Kate. Holy cow. Holy, holy cow. Alright, let's All right. uh get on the road. Okay. 39. Mom thinks the tire's gonna pop on her. We've just been off. told by two people that the reason that our tire looks like this is because uh now it's at 40. We're going to 45. Um we've been save told yourself. that look, like, she's literally scared of it. But we've been told that our air pressure is off. It's too low. It's too low. Now it's at 41. So now we're putting all the PSIs at 45. What's it now? What's it now? What's it now? Still 41. Look at her. She's like scared. 42 now. Okay. <laughs> and then we have to come back and do this one. Okay. It's rated for 50. Still at 42. And there's a bird right there. It's at 43 now. Okay. Keep holding it. But then I went over to try and hold it because she's being a little wuss. And she was like, no, I don't want it to pop on you. Ah! Mom, she has more life to you pulled it me. out. Are you kidding me? Well, but it's not, it's not coming out now. I just want to make sure that I didn't, I read that that one said 50. I want to read that this one said 50. Mom, it's, they're the same exact How tire. Do you know? Okay, well, you've taken Wait. it out at 43. So now okay. it's, now it's seven below what okay, it's Okay, well, we to can keep going. It's not like it's gonna it's Okay, go ahead and put it back in then. Well, hold on. I'm gonna look and make sure it's rated for 50. It is. Go ahead. Where does it say, Katie? 50 PSI. Okay. 
Okay, tell me when. Oh, wait, hold on. 50 PSI. Wait, move. Oh. Yeah, it says 50 PSI cold. Are you serious? I am so sorry. Yay! Hey guys, let me tell you the series of events, of events that just happened. So all of this, the, my point of the story is, is that people in Florida are like the kindest people on earth, number one. And number two, God has been with us this entire trip. So pretty much what happened was we were just on the road driving and our tire exploded. And then, um, which was bad. And then we pulled over, you guys saw that. And then before my mom, before the insurance could even like leave to come get us, the guy from the Florida Department of Transportation pulls over and he's like, hey, like, do you need help? <laughs> like, with cones and everything. So he puts his little cones on the road and has his little light and he's like, everybody move over. Comes, fixes, puts our puts our spare tire on and then, like, in less than an hour, we're, we're gone. Anyways, we're on our way. Like, we're still, like, we're on the road and we need some gas. So we're like, okay, let's go to Wawa, get some gas. So we come to Wawa. We get our gas. We go inside, get some food, come back out. And um, there's this guy with like a truck behind us, like a van, like a business van behind us. And he was like, oh, it looks like someone had some fun because the popped tire is chilling on the back. Like this, the popped spare is on the back of the car right now. And so we're like, oh, like it wasn't that fun. Like blah, blah, blah. And then mom was like, come look at it. Like literally take a look at it, it's insane. So he comes up and he's looking at it. And my mom's like, have you ever seen anything like this before? He was obviously like a car guy. Like he knew things about cars. He had like a service van and everything. And he was like, oh yeah, like that's what happens when like your tire pressure's off. And we were like, tire pressure's off? And he was like, yeah, like you should go make sure your tire pressure is like a certain amount under or whatever because it's super hot here. Like your tires are heating up and they expand, blah, blah, blah. So he's telling us where to put our tire pressure. And so we're like, oh, like, thank you, whatever. So we drive away, we end up at the like the air thing and me and my mom are like, well, what do we do? Like, we don't, we, we're a little confused because he was telling us like change the PSI and then we like looked at the PSI and it was like 50 and then this guy like saw us struggling and he came over he was like I can't help but notice that you guys are having some trouble like can I help you and we were like oh my gosh like yes please so he taught us how to like set the thing because we have the one at home where it's like manual like you have to like watch it and then like fix it from there and here's mom now she's coming up okay um, anyway, so we're like, um, so he's like, I can't help but notice that you're struggling and we were definitely struggling. So he comes over and he teaches us how to set the thing. We have the manual at, one at home. So we're like, you know, confused because we hadn't like used one like that before. Anyways, we get home. I'm sorry, we don't get home. Anyways, we're over there doing our stuff, whatever. And the guy with the service van behind us and that was behind us when we were getting gas, was like, hey, my van just broke down. Do you guys need help like doing the air pressure? And we were like, oh uh, yes. Because the guy who helped us first at the air was like, it's 50 PSI. Like that's what your tires are set for. So do like 45. But the guy with the service van was like, um, was like, you need to set it at 32 because it's so hot and your tires are gonna expand so much like you don't want them to explode like the one did back there. So we're like, oh, okay, cool. So he does it for us, like fixes the air pressure in my tires. And like everyone is just like, how can I help you? Like, what, what can I do to help you? So then he fixes our air pressure, his name's Richard, super nice guy, walks away, goes back in, he's like, have a nice day, like good later in college, blah, 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 we like have a little chat. And then we were like, my mom was like, we should probably buy him lunch. So we started driving away and they were like, nah. So we turned around and then she looked at, looked for him in the store and he's not there. So she went back to go find him in his van, but I don't think he's there either. So there's a 99% chance that Richard was an angel. And was literally sent by God to make sure our tires didn't explode again. But honestly, shout out to Richard because we wouldn't be here without him. Anyways, that's my update. See you guys. It's a beautiful afternoon. 
in South Tampa, Florida. Is that what you're going to do instead of, um, it's another day in which to excel? Well, it's a beautiful afternoon and it's not the morning. Is that like a Brennan? No, I'm just setting the scene. Okay. So it's a beautiful afternoon in South Tampa, Florida. Guess and the so. boys are going to a baseball game. Let's go. <laughs> the boys are headed to watch the Orioles whoop once again the Tampa Bay Rays in their home stadium. Why I love the Orioles tonight is because I wore that shirt last time, which Ryan is very uh, generous. Or I'm Ryan is very lucky that I'm so generous as to give to him. Uh, and, and we won, it. and we won, exactly. And I've worn this shirt, and the Orioles won it as well. So if we are wearing both the shirts, how can the Orioles lose? So you know, that's kind of my line of thinking. So game starts at 7.10. We're headed out of here at 5.15. Should get there around 6.15. Tailgate for about 45 minutes, then heading the game. We got, what, dogs, Dad? Uh, like, awesome dogs. Awesome dogs. Yes. Awesome dogs. And uh, Bev's. And baseball, you can't get buns. On my Buttered box. buns. Boys, bats, baseball, brats. Balls. Are you serious? <laughs> Baseballs. It's gonna be the best. <laughs> can't be oh, we missed them though. We did miss oh, them. Oh, kinda. They're gone. <laughs> Do you have a good nappy? Uh-huh. Good. Sure my butt is numb. Oh, geez, oh man. Yeah. The boys are on their way to the baseball game. So that's super fun. They said it's sunny and beautiful there. Here it's a little bit overcast and there was a ton of rain earlier. I think we're gonna be fine. Was there rain earlier? Yeah. It was, we drove through a little bit of rain, but um, Katie's roommate, Campbell, and her mom are ahead of us. They have been, they got here about three hours ago. They've been packing, or unpacking. They said it was raining terribly. All right, I gotta go, I'm driving. Um, are you happy to be back? Yeah. Okay. It was an eight hour trip that should have taken us four and a half. Yeah. 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 That was an adventure. It was quite the adventure, but now I missed my move in time. I know, so now we might not be able to get a car. If we didn't stop at Wawa, well, well, we would have been able to make our move in time. I think you're Except right. We need a gas. Our tires might have Our tires might have been. Exactly. <laughs> Welcome to my hall. It was last renovated in 2000. <laughs> if you don't know, that was 22 years ago. <laughs> I think I'm this one. Yeah, it's like, it smells like cat food. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Yay! Uh, <Hello>. <laughs> <laughs> looky, looky, looky! Wow! Oh, wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's this small! Is, um, it's tiny. It's teeny huh? tiny. This is okay. like, um... It's like, remember my tiny little room at home? Yeah. That was really small? Yeah. This is smaller than that. Yes, and there's two people. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Okay, it's, it'll be fine. It's okay. Yeah. Well, did you spray something because it smells good? Oh, I think this stinks. Thank you. But yes, I'm trying to wipe uh, out stuff. I'm like, uh, you're I so wipe stuff out. Good. All right, you guys, we're going to start moving in. Oh, look. You can write on the chocolate. That's so cool. Hey, Dizzle. Nice, Kate. All right, this is the, oh, you're gonna, wait, you can't. Are you writing somebody else? <laughs> All right, this is our cart we're gonna use. Katie has chosen Jack Black. We had William Defoe or Kanye West, but they're both wet inside. Jack um, Black is nice and dry. I want everyone, everyone to know I did choose Kanye first. Yes, but he has but water he inside has him. Water inside of him. It was raining earlier today, apparently. Yeah. So Jack Black is dry. Which is <laughs> All right, we have filled this to the brim. It is extremely yes. heavy.
Mark. Thanks, Mom. Nice he to is see you cute. Too. Thank you. Ow. Whoops. He's gonna be like your nightstand, right? Yeah. Cute. And holds all your stuffy stuffy. Not all of it, but some of it. I like it. Yeah. Aww. Good job, Mom. Hey, back at you, baby. Good, everybody. It's Brennan, Ryan, Dad. And Dad just went to buy Cracker Jacks. We already had peanuts for the seventh inning stretch. And he just realized that we missed taking me out to the ball the game. Yeah, we all say it. It's actually on my Instagram story right now. It's great. Terrible. Terrible. But the game is going well. Orioles up 8-3. Uh, to three. Oh, he's going. He's safe. What? That was bull. Mateo does not get out. Go Orioles. Mm -hmm. Day. Keeps getting better. So I lost my ID. Now we can't get into the building. <laughs> no, Katie lost her college ID. So we left. Okay, we put together the stuff in her dorm, and then well, the one thing we still have a lot to do. We put together the one thing in her dorm, and then she had to go over to the student union to get her yay her rush bag and all the stuff to rush because she starts rushing tomorrow. On the way there, she lost her ID. Her student idea. Ooh, whoops. Excuse me. So Mom, we have to get inside. Now we're back. We were very thirsty, so we stopped at Chick Fil A and got some drinks. And now we're back to move more stuff in, like this. Oh, Katie Elizabeth, and that. And we can't get in the building. It is almost ten o'clock in the mo at night, and Katie. Oh. No, we can't get in the building. Why? Katie has. Okay, this is where Nothing. we landed for today. This is as far as we have gotten, as far as we're going to get tonight. Everything is in. Yes, everything is in, so that's good. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Cam, can I come in? The room, is that okay? All right. Cam is all organized. Look at her. She's got her bed done. Look at that's where the fridge is going to go. This is what we have right now for Katie's room. We at least got that done, which is very cute. Very happy with it. Hung some stuff. But we're going to come back tomorrow. Kate's going to come. Um, sleep with me in the hotel tonight and we will finish up the room manana we are in bed and ready to go to sleep it was such a big day we had a huge huge day and i'd like to share what made me happy and i think you guys can already know that it's a hundred percent the good samaritans that helped us along the way in our journey today there were many many of them and they were definitely angels sent by god because we are we could have gone so wrong and i'm so thankful and grateful that we didn't um that, that the whole tire incident ended up with us still being safe the other thing that made me happy today was seeing Brennan and Dad and Ryan having so much fun at the baseball game. <laughs> what made you happy today, Katie Kate? All the things you said and just hanging out with you. Yes, and I'm happy that you're here. Hanging out with you is always so much fun, so I'm going to miss you when I leave tomorrow. I mean, in two days. I'm staying one more night. Yay. Do you want to sleep with me tomorrow night? Yay, that would be fun. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed watching Katie's part one of Katie's move into college video tomorrow. We have a lot more to do in terms of, so Kate's going to go to rush stuff tomorrow and then um, Campbell, her roommate's mom and I are, and her other friend, Jacqueline, her mom and I, all of three of us are going to go do some shop, shop, shopping for decorations and just to foof up the room a little bit. It's a little bit bland, so we're going to try to make it nice. It's like jail. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's going to be better than jail. It's going to be nice. Oh, by the way, I hit my um, heel today when we were moving in on the on the moving cart, and it is so sore. I just, I just banged it with my foot. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Comment down below what made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.